This is Catherine Rourke with the Cape Cod Institute, and I am here with Sue Ann Pilliero, who is with us this week teaching her course, Transforming Trauma, using the AEDP Therapist Bold Embodied Presence. Thank you for being with us. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. I always like to start with some history. Can you please tell us how you found out about the Cape Cod Institute? Well, I've heard about the Cape Cod Institute ever since I became a clinician. And um, in addition to the amazing people that you attract to this wonderful facility, I was particularly interested in the, the type of learning environment um, that you produce here. And I just absolutely love the fact that you have, you know, half day, half day learnings, right, nine to 12. And then in the afternoon, people get a chance to just digest what they learned, have a little fun around them in this unbelievably beautiful place, and come back the next day and learn some more in the learning. I think, as I always say to um, my students and actually even my clients, the slower you go, the faster you go. And I just love the pacing over the five days. I think it's incredibly um, conducive to in-depth learning of a particular topic. I love that. The slower you go, the faster you go. That could be like a motto for the Cape Cod Institute. Yeah. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about the course that you've been teaching? The course that I taught this week entitled Transforming Trauma through the therapist, the ADP therapist, Bold Embodied Presence, is really about how to bring yourself, you being the therapist, into the healing equation more prominently and actually using yourself as the intervention and as the corrective emotional experience. So it's really about bringing your, bringing your whole embodied presence into the healing process. So can you tell us a little bit more about AEDP and yes. what has brought you to, to this model? Yes. Well, first of all, AEDP, um, just to explain the acronym, it's, um, it stands for Accelerated Experiential Dynamic Psychotherapy. And um, the reason that what I like to emphasize the most about AEDP is that it's attachment-based, emotion-focused, and it really uses the use of the therapist, the relationship, to create the secure base from which deep healing can occur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wonderful. I actually got to sit in in your course for a little bit, and I feel like you really use um, some of your videos to try to, to show that and bring that to life for, for your participants. Yes, what we like to do in AEDP is not only teach the model, but also, also have participants and trainees actually experience the model through the work that we do with our psychotherapy clients. So I actually think it's the richest learning that can happen is if you actually see the work being played out live with the therapist and the client. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it actually led to some really wonderful discourse. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We really focus on the healing process. And what I mean by that is that the innate um, self-writing tendency that lies within each and every one of us, no matter how traumatized we've been, no matter how broken we feel, no matter how much character armor we have, we really privilege and look for the glimmers of the core neurobiological self coming to the fore in the midst of the trauma that sits right alongside it. Um, can you maybe share a highlight that you had either in the classroom or outside of the classroom? Okay, I'd like to. I'd like to highlight both, actually. So some of the highlights from this week is um, there's no um, greater um, feeling for me than to have participants, you know, learn from the teaching and learn from the tapes, and then go out and come in the next day and say, "I was actually with the client, and I used the gaze that you taught us, or I used, you know, bringing yourself in more, and I really started to see results." So I had numerous people throughout the week tell me that, and, um, and that and also the fact that they have more hope to work with the deepest trauma cases that are out there. So um, that's extremely meaningful and rewarding to me. Um, and being on the Cape, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this area is so phenomenally gorgeous between the ponds and that you can go to the many ponds, the bay, the ocean just the tranquility of this environment 
the, the wonderful restaurants. I mean, it's just such a healing, supportive, um, relaxing environment. And I think, again, I really believe that being amidst nature and a beautiful environment such as this allows the learning to even deepen. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. And I'm also interested to hear more about what you're excited about in your own work and in this field right now. So what I'm really most excited about in my, in my clinical work and in the training that I'm doing and in the writing that I will be writing about soon is this concept of fierce love. And fierce love is really about honoring the patient's wholeness, right? Not mm -hmm. just seeing the patient for the wounded parts that they bring, but also seeing the patient for the whole their whole embodied self and the parts of themselves that have yet to come to the foreground that's still there, that just needs the right environment to come out and, and advocating and championing for this, for the healed self that's already there to come to the fore as well. Wonderful. Well, I want to thank you for bringing your fierce love into this teaching this week. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful experience for me.